baby. Okay guys, let's have a look at the end of 89 this morning on the 16th of January. This is where they launched the airboat for Innisfil. So you can see its path right out there, right out there. Came out, it went out to check to see what was going on from there, it went out and got those people. You see that stuff down there? Ice fishing gear. And then we got some more down there, still there. Anyway, this is what we get guys at uh, the end of 89. Obviously it's not safe. But uh, anyway, we're going to go to the end of Guilford Road and we're going to check it out. We're going to be right back. Presenting Ice Cabin's newest four-man sleeper, the Ice Box. Let's go have a look at it. Brand new, ready to go. Full kitchen. I'm going to supply some pots and pans. Got your cooking stove. Two rooms. Back room consists of four bunks. Still got to pan them yet, but they're ready to go. Still minor adjustments to make, but here's the concept. You got a huge trough in the middle, okay? This area here, you got a fold down table that folds right down. But other than this, we're going to supply some sort of seating. Not 100% sure yet, but it's very important. Because if you want to stay here on the weekend, you want to be very comfortable as far as your seating. But anyway, here it is, Icebox. The newest creation from icecabins.com. Now taking your bookings. Okay guys, here we go. Now we're at the end of Guilford Road. The 16th, about 8 o'clock. You can see everything has now tightened up again. But, totally unsafe guys. Because again, if you look at this logically, this was all torn up Saturday. It didn't start getting below freezing till Monday night guys. So how thick can this ice be? Fine, we know the ice that's still out there. It's probably now just over two and a bit inches, right? But the other stuff, bad news, guys. So we can't go on there. I'll let you know what's happening here as far as when we can get on. But anyway, you know it's not ready for us right yet. See that stuff? Still out there being protected by the community of Guilford, guys. This is a a feel-good story. That's what we want this to turn out to be. Anyway, before we go, people even throwing rocks to see if it's safe. I don't know. Before we go, guys, tonight on CBFB Prime Time, who do you think called me this morning? Just as I was about to walk out the door and do this report. That's right. The third rescued individual called me he wants to set the record straight we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one tonight at six o'clock hopefully you guys show up because I think they're pretty cool and interesting because it really puts a, a face and it really puts you into their into their position on that particular day so we all know exactly what went down anyway catch that tonight on primetime CBFB I'm gonna take see you guys Real soon.